Shandrea Thomas is a reporter for Fox 2 in St. Louis. It's her job to know facts and statistics about the issues that affect people. But Shandrea was shocked to learn about a particular cancer danger that ultimately affected her own brother. My brother Turan was a tall, good looking guy with a sense of humor who loved his family, fiance, and friends. We always fought over cookies and the remote, but we always found a way to share. Life was good in the summer of 2011 until I got a call that would change my family forever. Turan told me he was diagnosed with melanoma skin cancer. At first, I thought, how could a man of color get it? It turns out the malignant cancer started underneath a toenail on his right foot. It had never healed correctly after someone accidentally stepped on it. Turan rarely got sick, so he didn't worry about it and waited more than a month before doctors checked it out and gave the bad news. Suddenly, he was in a whirlwind of PET scans and biopsies. Doctors determined it was stage three. The toe was quickly amputated and the fight for survival began. Turan went through a year of intense weekly chemotherapy treatments and a month after his last treatment, we found out the melanoma had spread to both of his lungs and brain. They were stage four. Fifteen months after his diagnosis, he was gone and with it his dreams of a marriage and future. Turan was only 34 years old. And rejoining us are dermatologist Dr. Sandra Lee and Dr. Susan Evans, along with Chandrea. I'm so very sorry for your loss. Thank you. And I know that this isn't easy for you to talk about, but I think that the hope is if anyone out there is watching and you don't think it can happen to you, that's why Chandrea is here to share the story of your healthy brother. Yeah, you know, he, my brother rarely got sick that I knew of. It was just shocking. It's still unbelievable to me right now. Did you ever even think about growing up that, were you in the sun a lot, or was it even something that crossed your mind? Absolutely not. We, I mean, we lived in Arizona, grew up there mostly, but we pretty much ran from the sun because it's such a piercing, you know, heat. So we didn't hang out in the sun very much. We, know, we never thought about sun, uh, you know, sunscreen or anything like that. It was just something that... Uh, we just kind of saw it was just not being something we had to worry about. And it sounds like initially he just thought that, that you know, someone had stepped on his toe. And, and mm -hmm. something and, so simple. And if anyone out there is noticing any kind of discoloration under your nail, he, he didn't think that this could be something more serious. Did he initially get diagnosed with something else, or was no, it just it, a matter of he? Didn't even consider it could be a yeah, medical cause. Yeah, actually, it was. He just thought maybe it was, you know, maybe a hematoma or some bruising or something that just didn't quite heal right. And then once he found out what he was, he, um, we were all shocked by it. And I heard that when you did research about it, you noticed that there is actually someone very famous who has passed away the same way, mm -hmm. Bob Marley, mm -hmm. uh, the famous reggae singer. I mean, he, he yeah. the same thing. It was in his toenail. And mm -hmm. that's the scary thing because most of us at some point have had like a bruise on our toenail. We've slammed it or our finger and we get this bruise there. And it's very important to, to differentiate that between um, a subungual hematoma and a subungual melanoma. Because Which are that just is things that you see under the nails. Right. Whether they both... Come out. Now, the big difference is that, is that a hematoma will gradually grow out. But it's sure. so great that you're sharing this story right. because I see so many in my practice and people don't think that they could get melanoma if they have more pigment in their skin. And not just African Americans, but Indonesians, mm -hmm. Asians, yep. Latinas, a lot of people. And they think that they have enough melanin that they don't really have to worry about this cancer, mm -hmm. but that's not true. Yep. And it is in areas that is not sun exposed. It, it is on the palms on the soles of their feet and it is something that might show up on your mm -hmm. nail bed so this is a good time for everybody to go home and investigate your body look at your toenails look at your nails and make sure that there's not something there that should be checked out mm -hmm. and that picture there too showed something interesting they have pigment too on this proximal nail fold and that's actually a sign that we look for as dermatologists it's called the Hutchinson sign and that's actually a potential poor prognosis when you actually see the pigment on the skin um, behind, you know, where the base of the nail is, because that's where the pigment is actually growing out. That's where the melanoma is growing out and kind of staining the, the nail plate, and that's why you're seeing it as a streak. If you see that, that picture we just showed, if you see that in your nail bed, and you have not had any trauma there, you need to go yesterday to your dermatologist to get that checked out. Now, if you just hit your, your thumb with a nail, or with, I'm sorry, with a hammer, 
Okay, you have an explanation, but I think that's really the takeaway take, take that Shandrea is trying to share with everyone is that you may think it can't happen to you, mm -hmm. but what happens with melanoma is it strikes people down in the prime of their lives because it seems so innocuous, but it's, it's malignant and it metastasizes, and in your brother's case, it spread to his lungs, it spread to his vital organs, and it didn't matter how healthy he was going in. Anything you can do to protect those sensitive areas. I know we always say wear sunglasses with UV protection to protect your eyes. You know, when you start thinking about your, your nail beds, um, you know, people well, are thinking, well, I, I don't know how to get sunscreen on those. And uh, No, it, you know, well, sun is a factor, certainly, in the development of melanoma, but, you know, a melanoma can occur where the sun doesn't shine. Mm -hmm. So that's something important to know. And, you know, just to be vigilant, just to watch and make sure that things aren't changing, that you don't have this. We, we really get all of our moles, we really have all our moles by our mid to late 20s. So if you develop something new, or certainly one of your moles is changing at that point, that is really something to bring to the attention of your dermatologist. And Chandra, something I want you to tell our viewers, especially women out there who never take their nail polish off, I'm sure you've learned. Oh, yeah. Take that nail polish off. And you know, it's kind of interesting too, when I was doing the research and doing the story about my brother, the most shocking thing, statistics that I found were that a person dies every 57 minutes from skin cancer. And I'm thinking, that's, that's major, mm -hmm. you know? So I think if people just kind of acknowledge and understand that this is not something that you just have to ignore, it, it affects all of us. Yeah. Oh. There's this illusion in, uh, you know, I would say in the black community a lot of times that skin cancer does not affect us, and it does affect us. My brother is a classic example of why it affects us. Yeah, it's real. And even one in five Americans in, in their lifetime is going to get skin cancer. I mean, it's very, very prevalent, and it's on the rise in African Americans. And the trouble is, is when it's diagnosed, the five-year survival rate is just 77 percent, opposed to Caucasians, it's like 91 percent, like, as in they're catching it earlier and they can do something yes. about it. But and, and Chandrea, you coming on this show mm -hmm. and sharing your brother's story, I know beyond a shadow of a doubt there are going to be people watching this show whose lives you've saved by being here today. I want to thank you for sharing your brother's story with us. And if you're out there and you have any concerns, you notice anything on your body, any skin changes, visit your doctor. We'll also have more skin cancer prevention tips at thedoctorstv.com. Chandrea, thank you so very much. Thank you. And up next, can what you eat actually worsen your wrinkles?